Hey everybody, Shay here. Time for another reaction to the trailer that just dropped for Dragon Age 4, The Veiled Guard. It's relatively short, it's two minutes long. Here I am, patiently waiting this weekend for June 11th when they're gonna drop the gameplay footage. I've reinstalled Dragon Age Origins. I'm cutting my very first Let's Play on this channel into this collected edition, I call it. I'm using an AI skimmer to get rid of silence and then trim out some of the inventory and combat stuff uh, because I'm trying to remember the world state. I'm trying to just reabsorb it myself and I figure why not, while I'm in the middle of that, recollect it so that I have like a more cohesive version that I can release for people who want to jump on board. Or when the Dragon Age 4 game drops, at least there's that history there that's a little bit faster to get through that. I'm installing mods. I've got about 30 mods installed and uh, it's looking good. The game's looking pretty good with some remastered mods in there and whatnot. Let's actually jump into this mode here so you can see the widescreen as well. Captioning off and play. Can mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He mentioned footage. Not all images are down. Oh, Leo. Not looking good, old friend. That's what I think it is. I'm fairly certain this it is. This will take more than you and me. What are you thinking? We need someone to be our eyes and ears in the oh. shadows. Okay. Okay. It's someone to bring a little darkness to the daylight. Okay. Werewolf, maybe? Lucanus? We're going into the Fade, aren't we? <laughs> and digging up a lot of fade buried jumpers. secrets. Oh, Arcane. Design what about field Dark Spawn? Yeah. Someone who will stand between Ooh. us and a pack you of in there. demons. Woo! The Griffins are coming back. You know there will be dragons. Right. We'll need someone with fire in their right. blood. Hey yo! One more thing. This crew needs a leader. Someone we can count on. That is him. Someone that the world can count on. Love it. But where are we gonna find her? Yeah, don't show it, right? Because that could be yes. anyone. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. 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 It does, it has a bit of more of an animated cartoon feel, huh? It's okay. It looks good. It looks good. Rounder logo edge there. Cleaner, slicker. Looking good. Can't play Premiere. Faceless hero right there, that's a good call. Yeah, that had to be Varric, right? Like, it just, like, an aged Varric, but, like, the voice is, there's a the bit of the voice, but it's not quite exact, you know? So it's throwing me off. He obviously doesn't look like Varric. I was kind of expecting, but that's the crossbow. Like that's Bianca, man. This will take more than you and me. And that's, come on. Harding! Harding. Scout Harding! Someone to be our first, eyes and ears and I, at first I thought that was either gonna be Vivienne and then I was like wait or no is it um Josephine the clothing like the ropes you know Nev was Nev in any of the other games was it a, a side character an NPC that popped up at some point that name sounds familiar to me but I don't think it was someone to bring a little darkness to the daylight I want I want to believe Lucanus the mage killer is a werewolf with a name like that and them bringing the werewolf lore back into it somehow would feel right to me because it was such a prominent part of Dragon Age Origins, you know? It was in DA2 to some degree. But like the lore itself sort of didn't really go anywhere, <laughs> you know? I wish they did more of it. Mm, mm, please. Be a sect. I'm saying there could be a sect. It could work. It could work. People who jump into Livian so like go find things. The Veil Jump. It's a Veil Jumper. Literally, that's the, that's in the name. Velara. That's a new character. Digging up a sure. lot of buried secrets. This is where the Arcana design, the hard angle and the edges feel like they're kicking in. Emric. Even that name sounds familiar to me. Emric. Are these characters from the um to Winter Nights? Without spoiling anything down below. Yes or no? <laughs> like maybe not what story. But what Emric. about Dark Spawn? Yeah. Someone who will stand between us and a pack of demons. Dark Spawn. Dark Spawn completely. Davrin, uh, when I first saw that like flash by, I was like, Darwin is what I kind of saw. But we got a warden back in play here. The griffin, of course. I don't want to spoil anything, right? But like, is there a story with the, with the griffins or something in Timitra Nights? Like, because that, that was a whole plot. 
of them just not being around anymore, right? So it'd be cool if like finds an egg and the egg becomes a pet and it's more like a ranger, Grey Warden, right? Like you have like um the kind of dual dynamic going on where you can play the character, but they have like a pet, you know, that they use like a hunter, like in World of Warcraft, that kind of thing. Be dragons. Right. That's Merrick, man. That has been Merrick. I don't remember him with black hair. Am I crazy? He didn't have, he had to look orange hair or red hair or something, didn't he? <laughs> I'm looking this up. God, for a second there, I was like, Ren? No, but no. No, it's going to be Ren, the Legion of the Dead. That'd be fun, but no. <laughs> I'm actually kind of, go, what? Anyways, Varric, that's what I thought. There's no way it's Varric. But it is Varric. He dyed his hair, dudes. <laughs> like, he's got, like, the necklace. I knew there was, like, there was just enough design there. Where it's, like, with it. Anyways, Tash, Dragon, Red Death. Right there. Blood. Very position there. This crew needs a leader. Someone we can count on. There's a great intro right here. Someone that the world can count on. I do what looking at. But where are we gonna find that? <laughs> great music behind this too to call it out. But like, is there, am I missing the, the story behind that ring around his neck? Like now that I've seen it here, it's it's even, it's more, it's even harder to um, ignore it. But I don't remember any tale about this, this necklace, but it's like the one consistent thing in the design, right? He completely, he like dyed his hair completely. <laughs> Anyways, I love Eric. <laughs> it looks great there. That's very, it's Eric. I just got the open chest. Come on, man. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. That was definitely, oh, it's not, it reminded me of Vivienne because of the clothing, but I think that was just like maybe uh, there was like a dress, like um, the, the what they wore in that mage circle. So there might be like different mage circles that you can come from and that will dis de decide on maybe the way you can look or maybe some of the outfits you can get along the way. I mean, there's probably equipment you just pick it up and wear, right? But... That was Vivienne clothing, though. Here, let's go back here now that I got this page open. Quick, quick, because I don't quick, because I don't think I'm crazy. It's been a long time, but I don't think I'm crazy. Right? Right? Where we? Where, where's she at? Right there. That's a great shot, right there. No, it's the color schema. It's a color schema. It's not look like look, look, look at the blue, the grayish, the white, right? Blue, white, grayish, right? Not the exact. It's not the same clothing at all. The, the high collars, but it feels like it's a nod to it. Look at the sleeves. The sleeves are kind of dangling. That's got to be it. So like an orle mage kind of thing. Montsimard or whatever it was called, right? I want more from, and this sounds like a fun and classic a lot of very secrets. Uh, Necromancer, that's always tempting for me, but I've played that now in Dragon Age Inquisition, so. What about but it's like a Necromancer from like Navarra. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is like, that's a whole different, oh, they got such cool lore over there, you know, with Undead that, oh, that'd be great to tap into and have fun with, man. But Grey Warden has a place in my heart. I love the Grey Wardens. I, re I, yeah. I love them. Someone will stand between us <laughs> I love it. I love them. They're kind of sketchy, yes, but the grayness of them in the Grey Warden is the part that I love. I love them. Now, if they got Griffins involved, then they'd be Hunter-esque. Yes. This will oh, take more than you and me. Good. We need someone to be our eyes and ears in the shadows. Take someone to bring a little darkness. Darkness. And the daylight. Demons. It has to be. It has to be. Because there's like a, there's like, he's doing that whole, he's doing a bit of a comic book move there, right? The Wolverine and Colossus move, like the launch, right? Using it as a, I, I literally, I did that in a game once. It was fun. We ran up a tower shield and then left off because I could. But anyways, the synergy, the dynamic, the synergy of a partnership going on there, that is probably the cause. You know there will be dragons. Right. We'll need Sorry. someone with fire in their blood. I haven't played any, I haven't played a character that's just like a, a charger, like a warrior, like, like get in there and just wreck things, you know? Hmm. So that's tempting too, especially a dragon killer, a dragon hunter. That'll be fun. One more thing. This crew needs a leader. Someone we can count on. Someone that the world can count on. Basically like a maniac going up against the pot, like, proficient. And getting out Where of a jam. Gonna find <laughs> or like unconventional maniac. Just the hero they need. Together. I mean, that wasn't a normal dragon though. That was that was an like, That's a 
That's like probably like <laughs> that's like that's probably an RG. You would imagine, right? Anyways, that's fun. Let's see what the gameplay is all about. Uh, I hope they make it fun. Like, I want to see more dynamic play, I think, out of the games. Um, the top-down view, it's fun, but I feel like it can't just be, like, there could be more about the game. And maybe it, like, its way to innovate is to maybe go towards more of a Mass Effect angle. Felt like I was thinking a lot about Mass Effect while watching myself play Dragon Age Origins. That kind of feeling. And then I was thinking about Dragon Age 2. I know that it's the game in the trilogy that's easy to be forgotten, but, like, for me, it had the best combat. Um... It just, it flowed nicely and, but it was too fast. It was too fast paced, you know? And so they swung the pendulum too far in the other direction. Um, but you still had that top level view, but because the AI was so good and the way that you can condition it with this, that strategy plan or whatever it was called, like it, it just made the game flow in a fun way. But it made me think about why I love Mass Effect so much. And it's not just the story of Mass Effect and the characters in Mass Effect universe, but it's the gameplay flow. It's the ability for me to focus on Shepard and then have companions that I choose be um, kind of self-driven inside that flow and not have to min max or min max well that too but micromanage these combat scenes and the result is that it would keep me more immersed inside the actual narrative even if I was in a combat scene and I feel like man Dragon Age could w really win from that and I'm saying this because I've just watched 50 episodes worth so I don't know 30 to 40 hours worth of my gameplay content where every time I hit a combat spot <laughs> I'm not cutting around it because it's my blind experience in the combat but at the same time I'm like mm. like as a re-experience I'm not feeling like I'm part of the plot of the fight. You, you catch what I'm saying? Like the fights didn't feel like, they didn't feel immersive. And Dragon Age Inquisition sort of fixed that a little bit because there was more of that dynam dynamic interplay on the field. Uh, it was just, it flowed better, I guess, on the field. But at the same time, then it just be it had the same prolific problem, right? Where it just stuff was happening, but I never really felt like it was happening for a narrative reason. They were a narrative. There was narrative wrapped around it, but it just felt like a thing that you just had to get through. The gameplay you just had to get through, so you moved on to the next dialogue interaction and <laughs> romance kickoff or some push of some plot, like moving around the map. And like there was other stuff you looked forward to, you know. And I feel like this game has an opportunity to sort of hone in on that part of the franchise and make it more immersive and meaningful. Uh, to the fuller experience because I feel like it's nailing the, the other stuff is doing really really well <laughs> you know and so they can do interactions and engagements inside that like character dynamics and if they have another relationship kind of mapping and stuff like that that's going to be fun and it's going to be it's going to be fun to experience I'm looking forward I mean two more days and we get to see the gameplay footage crossing fingers it's at least something di I don't I, I need to I want to see something different I'm okay if it goes back to isometric and they go back to the roots with safety right but I'm also like where can the IP take that next just push it a little bit so that we get something that just feels a little bit fresher on the market, not just for Dragon Age, but on the market. Um, yeah, and so I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully I'm not getting my hopes up too much, <laughs> uh, but I'm looking forward to it. And I'll be back, of course, with another reaction when the gameplay drops and we'll talk about it. Okay, catch you there. Don't forget to explore. Engage and inspire, buddy. Peace.